Okay, let's say that we want to come in and we want to work with the background a little bit. All right, so what I want to do first is I'm going to select um, these three, and then I'll inverse my selection and apply a filter just to the background, apply an adjustment just to the background. So again, I'm going to go into quick mask mode. Now, I'm on my bottom layer, um, and I'll pull my selection up to a higher level, higher layer. layer. So what I want to do is I want to come on in to quick selection. So I'm going to hit... Q and I'm going to get my brush and I'm going to see that my selection is this color. I can actually go a little bit bigger. Let's see here. Let's go a little bit bigger and just select this area in through here. In, in, in. Now, I definitely do not have an exact selection. I can see that I'm running out into the other areas, but we know that we can clean this all up. Okay. And that's the beautiful thing about how we're working with masks. So our big focus, so we could clone. Uh, we have a person in the background. Um, okay, so we have her. Okay, great. All right, so we have them selected. Now, again, I'm gonna to come to um, the letter Q to get my selection. I'm gonna inverse my selection. So I'm gonna to come to select. I'm gonna inverse my selection. And what I want is I just want what's behind to be selected. Now I'm gonna apply an adjustment layer and I'm gonna choose levels. Now, what I wanna do, because this is below everything, I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to drag it on up. I'm going to drag it on up, right up to the top. Excellent. So now I'll be above everything. And now I'm going to work with the background a little bit here. Okay, there we have it. Okay, we can turn this on and off. All right, just kind of fading the background out a little bit. Now, again, if there was a portion that we wanted to add to it or take away, we could do just that. Um, I could apply another filter to this as well if I'd like to. Um, and let's see, what else could we try? Let's try, let's do a hue saturation. Now, we want this one to be, um, we want it to be connected to our selection. So let's control click. And let's actually create a clipping mask from it. So now we can see this arrow. We know that it's just based on the one that is below it. So if we look at this, I want to just take a look at. Desaturating and darking, darkening a little bit. Um, so and again, you know, we need to come back in and clean this on up. So what I would have to do is come back on to this one, put the black up on top, make this a little bit smaller. Oops, put the white up on top. Actually come in more exact. So we can see that we can spend a lot of time doing cleanup stuff here too. Okay, I think you got the idea. Now, sometimes too, you're gonna to find that you're gonna be in so close, really working on one pixel at a time. So coming in, taking this away, putting pieces back in, just working one pixel at a time. Um, all right, but so, you know, in this video, I'm not gonna spend all this time working on cleaning up. I think you got the idea. I'm actually gonna chuck this hue saturation and I'm gonna just let my layer be what it is with the background. Let's see, let's check this hue saturation. Excellent. I'm gonna just let the levels be what they are. They added, you know, they separated the background out a little bit, um, took away some of the emphasis, darkened it a little bit. So I do like that.